OK, well, the first thing we need to do is to connect our camera to the computer. Now, this is fairly simple. Normally, most cameras, such as this DSLR, come already with a, uh, a USB cable. It has two slightly different ends. It has a normal uh, universal connector and a slightly smaller connector, which actually connects to the camera. So on this particular model, there is a little door here on this side, if I open it up, you should be able to see there are a number of ports down here. In the middle there's one labelled PC video, and I'm just going to connect my cable directly to that. There it is. Next we need to plug the larger end of the cable into a free USB port on the computer. And finally, with the camera connected, all we need to do is actually to turn it on. In this case, it's with this. And Linux will immediately pull up the file manager. If the file manager doesn't immediately display, then what will happen is that a dialog box will be displayed asking you what to do with the file system. And all you need to do is click on the Open with File Manager option. In this case, we've already done that, so Fedora knows that it needs to open the file manager. Um, as you can see here, on the left-hand side, we can see the camera listed as a 4-gig file system. That's because I've got a 4-gig SD card inside the camera. Um, obviously, if I was running a 16-gig SD card, that would mount as a 16-gig file system. So all we need to do is just open up the directory of the camera, just like any other directory, and we can navigate down into any subdirectories on the camera. So you can see here these are JPEG files that I've taken earlier on. And if I navigate back to this other directory, we'll see a different format of file here. These are DNG, digital negatives. Okay, so these are shot in the Adobe RAW format. So let's copy these to our hard disk. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tab. So I'm going out to File, New, Tab. Okay, so Fedora opens me up a separate tab in the File Manager here, and I'm going to navigate on this new tab over to the directory that I want the files to reside in. So I'm going to click on this bookmark that I created earlier. Okay, and that takes me to this empty directory called Camera. I click back on the original camera tab here and then I pick up the files that I want to copy uh, in this case I'll take this bottom one and I just drag it across to the new tab and release it and you can see the new file is copied across if I click back on the original tab we can see that the file is still there on the camera if I want to delete this file from the camera that's quite easy I can just right click it and move to trash and that will actually remove it from the camera's SD card. If I click back on the other tab where we copied the file we should see here's the file still existing on the computer hard drive but it's gone now from the camera SD card. Once you're done copying your files all you need to do is switch off the camera. And what you'll see is that the file manager has removed that 4 gig file system, so it can no longer see the camera. So that's a really great feature of Linux, that any devices that you connect to it just look like another file system, and you can copy them to and fro and delete them just as you would any other directory on the machine.